Initially, I wouldn't have ever guessed that I would be a firefighter. I graduated high school and I started going to school in South Georgia and I didn't like school, I wasn't really good at it, uh, but I did like sports and being active and I didn't want to keep going to school, so I was like, I'm gonna figure something else out, but my mom said I had to do something. Some people were like, uh, I don't think women should be in the fire department so much. Someone told me the only women who join the fire department are sluts and lesbians. Some were discouraging, some were super encouraging, but I applied. constantly moving forward. Firefighters are required to have everything ready to go and out the door in two minutes or less. A lot of the stuff we go through and the things we see can be mentally taxing and then, you know, being a female and having the more, you know, maternal instincts, like you take things a little bit more personally or they're a little bit more sad. I had to prove to them that I do belong here. At first it was kind of like, oh, can she actually do this? Can we actually trust her? And then after a certain amount of time, like being successful as a crew to put fires out, to cut open a vehicle, to like basic patient care, they started to see that. She's going above and beyond. After three years of it, it's definitely been one of those things where like I really feel like I'm part of the brotherhood and they are very accepting. I'm one of six women to have completed the FLAMES program, and I was the only woman who went through this specific one. It's a 48-hour course, putting firefighters through stressful scenarios, really pushing them to be in situations where you're tired, you're worn out, but you still have to work. So when I started FLAMES, uh, as the date approached for me to go, after doing all my training and preparation, I I was starting my period. You can't always change a tampon or have a pad. I had gotten a pair of the Thinks panties and they were probably the only thing that didn't stink on me. Few people get sent to the hospital for rhabdomyolysis. Kidneys start shutting down, your electrolytes are low, you're not fueling your body right, and when you're on your period, a lot of that stuff is tenfold, so you really have to feel your body. You're going in hay smoke and all that stuff, and that's like, carcinogens are in there. I don't wanna stick something inside me that's gonna be around smoke and carcinogens. It made everything so much easier. I have endometriosis too, so that makes my periods incredibly painful. And a lot of the times I just, you know, wanna curl up in the bay and, and hold a heating pad there, but I have to work. I grew up with three brothers and my mom homeschooled all four of us. So she also never made me feel like I couldn't do something my brothers could do. If my brothers were going BMX biking, you better believe I was, and I was gonna be there first. She's just a great teacher and uh, such a great motivator and never made me feel like being a woman made me less of a person. Then you meet other people that were told differently and they're like, oh, you know, I'm supposed to go to ballet and do that. It's like, no, you can do whatever you want. If you want to go BMX, go do BMX. And if you want to do ballet, ballet is totally cool too. Not knowing that there was a severe difference in ability growing up definitely made me feel like I could do whatever I wanted. When I go places, a lot of times there's a mother and her daughter and a mother will be like, look, there's a girl firefighter. And I'll go over and be like, yeah, we're hiring. You want to join, you know? like. Girls can do this too, and it's, it's, a, it's a great career. When you can just throw your gear on and be in like a really hot building and things are 
way out of control and you only have like a little bit of water coming out and your guys behind you and you just can't predict exactly what's going to happen. It's a big adrenaline rush and it's scary, but it's exciting at the same time. I keep telling my chief, I, I'm going to be chief of this department someday.